Wanderers have only conceded one goal from a corner this season. Joe Lolly rolls it short. A change of angle and headed in! What a beauty for Sydney FC! And it's the skipper on the night, Ryan Grant, inside three minutes to send those sky blue hordes into ecstasy in the corner of Combat Stadium. Well, before the game has even really been able to settle on the Harvey Norman replay, it's a pretty routine sequence from the corner, but there is nothing at all routine about this header from Ryan Grant. It's a blistering bash with the forehead into the back of the net. Here's Max Burgess weaving his way through. Marcelo makes the block. And there are appeals for handball and a penalty awarded for Sydney FC. Goodness me, what an extraordinary start to this Sydney derby. Alex King was well positioned and says handball. Marco Rudan cannot believe it. Fabio Gomez against Daniel Margush. The stutter from the Brazilian and he sends it the wrong way. And Sydney FC are too clear. Sky blue heaven in a corner of combat. He doesn't miss or hasn't yet from the spot. Sonny Kittel. That's a handy ball. And Varello is onside here. There's no flag. Big chance, Wanderers. 2-1. Oh, and now the flag goes up. They will check it. Tidy finish by Brandon Varello, but the offside flag was raised. Rain still tumbling in Parramatta. The Wanderers have stopped the bleeding for now. This is Kittel as they try and launch an attack. Sonny Kittel beaten away by Redmayne. Here's Borello and Redmayne there again. Good double stop by the Sydney FC goalkeeper. Well, and that's how it can change. A good passing sequence. Nice work from Lanovic and then releasing Kittel. Intuitive touch inside. Good effort beaten away from Red, by Redmayne. And that's really confident from Brandon Borello. Balance shown by Caceres and now Gomez and they could be in again Sydney. Here's Joe Lolly. Good save, Daniel Margus to prevent further damage to the scoreboard. Now what a brilliant attack from Sydney to started with Caceres and just when the Wanderers, like any team, think they've got him. Look, he just uses his body. More importantly, his touch, immaculate touch. Oopsie. Oh, they're in trouble again, the Wanderers, Fabio Gomez. Margus redeems himself. Goodness me. Well, it's a hospital pass, and Hendricks is feeling worse for wear. And Sydney, again, I mean, on this evidence, now they should have put this game out of the question. High defensive line for Sydney FC. Hendricks sends up the signal, and it's a good area. It's headed over by Alex Bonatic. Well, according to the assistant referee, onside too from the free kick, which was just beautifully flighted. It's not the best ball from Bonatic, and Sydney steal it. Robert Mack is clear and makes it 3 0. No mistake. Another error from the Wanderers, and they have been punished. And Robert Mack, who scored in the finals win here in Parramatta late last season, has done it again. And Sydney are surely set for the points now. Oh, Beedling and Margus have got into a terrible mess here. And Fabio Gomez says thank you very much. It's 4 0. And it's the ultimate embarrassment for the red and black. They committed football suicide there. And Sydney are four clear. Well, the demolition is nearly complete. Just break off and see if Zach Sapswood can finish this. Deflection, they have one back. Zach Sapswood will claim it. Took a touch off the defender, Andrew Redmayne is going to have to wait again for that clean sheet. The Wanderers are on the boards. It might not make any difference to where the points are going, but it's some consolation. Shikluna. And the Brello in acres of space on the right. That was the intended ball, but well cut out by Burgess. He's looking a little bit leggy and he's been 
dispossessed and the shot is fired in with real venom by Brandon Borello after Zach Saxford had nicked the ball away and Redmayne forced into making a pretty good save. Just look at that work from Jake Gerwood Wright, who's playing as a left centre back. There's Courtney Perkins, meantime, who's not quite got the energy to get around the fullback, and the shot from Kaczarski got a touch off Margos, and it's going to be a corner. Places it out in front of Perez. Can he find the right cross? It's not bad, and Redmay makes a good save actually to deny Zach Sapsford another late consolation. Yeah, but. Great angle on that header, that's so very difficult to execute that one. Well then for Perez, whose speed got him to possession before the byline. Uh, that delivery is really well dealt with from Sapsford, and Redmayne has to save, it does save very, very well.